This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it, and Happy New Year. We are now in 2022. Uh, apologies for not uploading any videos towards the end of uh, 2021 in December. <laughs> I, was, uh, I planned on getting a video uh, edited, uh, sorry, recorded, um, on the Thursday and Friday, my last two days of work. But, as you probably are aware, my truck broke down. The truck is now up and running, it is working. Um, we've actually been off work for two whole weeks. Uh, we were only supposed to have a week off work in between Christmas and New Year's Day. But um, it took a little bit longer than expected to get this clutch fitted. So here we are on Thursday uh, the 6th, I think. Yeah, Thursday the 6th. Um, the clutch got installed yesterday and we're out in it today. That is uh, what we're doing. Is anything coming? It's all clear. So yes, we're uh, well, we're heading to Dis, which is sort of towards Ipswich. It's an IP postcode. Uh, we're delivering to a company that I've delivered to before, which actually was almost this time last year, uh, and I've vlogged it as well. But 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 we're delivering to a different site, um, and I don't know whether do we need to turn the right here? Yeah, we need to turn right here. <laughs> Nearly missed this turning then. I don't know whether you guys will remember the video but we got there and um they said oh no it's for the other site so well this is the postcode that's on the paperwork so um but yeah anyway that other site that they thought we were delivering to last time is the site we're delivering to this time if that makes sense so i've never been there before i have phoned up i've got rough directions how to get there uh turn right into a car park it's going to be single track lanes for a little bit not too long is that a truck coming down this way it is. It's, uh, we haven't got an awful lot of room here, mate. I'm just going to come to a stop and let him pass. Um, yeah, so we've got to go down a single track, tighter than this road, for a little bit. And then we've got to turn right into uh, what looks like a car park. I was wondering whether we got a reverse into it or not, but no, she said drive into it because we might be driving into the nursery itself when we get in there but we'll see in a second we're literally a couple of minutes away so we're going to be there in not too long of a time at all this is a bit of a a blind junction if anything comes around too fast either side it might be driving into us <laughs> don't want that so we're delivering to a company called Wharton Nurseries thank you very much And we're literally only going down here for 800 yards, so, yeah, not long. Not long at all. Well, it looks like we've got crossroads in front of us. Ugh. But we have priority. It's very frosty out, isn't it? Minus one and a half degrees have gone to the dash. Not looking forward to getting out, to be honest. Right, nursery's here on the right, look. I'm not going to get an Arctic in there. Well, maybe we might do, actually. But I'm going in this entrance. As far as I'm aware. Sun is out, man. Right, starting to get in. She says, right opposite the hockey pitch, when the hockey pitch is there. Uh, 
Uh, see, I'm not sure which one I need. Is it this one or that one? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to just park up on the road with the hazards on. There's enough room for vehicles to pass me here. I have a feeling it's going to be the first right, but the way she worded it, it was going to be this right. Let's go see if we can find someone. Might need to move forward a little bit more. Yeah, so it looks like it's the uh, the first one. Originally, I thought it was this right. Originally, I thought it was this right here into the car park. As soon as I arrived, I thought it was the first one. And there was a sign there saying nurseries and deliveries. And I can see the same stuff I got on. So we're gonna go down here. As I walked down, someone saw me, I think, and then walked away. So, saw them. Hello mate, you right? Hey, yeah, I've got a load of mal court delivery for you. Right, I'll go and find you the man who deals with you. And then, uh... Lovely, thank you mate. Ugh. The man that deals with me. Okay, that's cold out. <laughs> I've got the coat on as well. Um, right, we've just been tipped. Uh, the, just done the curtains back up. This was all the stuff we were carrying. So we had, well, we had 24, so there's gonna be 12 there. And then another 12 got tipped off over there. So, uh, yeah, nice and quick tip. Uh, we're just going to have a, a very quick break. He said we can have a break here, so might as well. Uh, we're in this right now. We've got to go from here to Leighton Buzzard, which I'm going to put in the sat -nav in a bit. I reckon it's a good two-hour drive there at least. Get loaded with just five pallets. And then we've got to go to Cardiff for delivery tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. To, to Audi or Lidl, one or the other. So, um, yeah, five pallets. That's gonna be quite, quite a quick one at least. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, head back in the truck and uh, let's go. Right, we're good to go. Ugh. We're good to go, we're just waiting for I'm not going to put that on yet, actually. I'm waiting for the bangsman to watch me out. He's just over there at the moment. If I pull forward, he might uh, then realise I'm good to go. Where'd he go? Ah, he's blowing me. Went out a different door. Right, so we've got to do a blind side reverse now. Uh, which means we've got to put the trailer that way because we want to go that way. We're not going to be able to see much. It's a single track road. Hopefully we can get out in one hit without actually hitting anything. Thank you, mate. Bye, mate. Have a good day. There we go. 
Right, we are off. So I put the destination in to Leighton Buzzard where we've got to go now to get loaded. It's actually 113 miles away, which is two hours and 40 minutes. So it's a little bit over two hours to get there. Um, today is just going to be a day of driving today. Um, it's four hours, 15 minutes to get here. We've had a break here, which is very nice of them. And um, yeah, now we've got to do two hours 40 to Leighton Buzzard. And then from Leighton Buzzard to Cardiff, I'll have to do a printout to find out exactly how much time I've got left because I'm hoping I can get to Cardiff tonight. It's, it's booked in for a 6 a.m. delivery. So from Leighton Buzzard to Cardiff, I might actually be able to go back home, back to the yard, but to be honest, <laughs> I'd rather just head down there, especially seeing as it's a Thursday. I'd rather just head on down there and then wake up at like half five <laughs> and then uh, do the delivery then in the morning. Right. How fun is this going to be? It's all clear. It's all clear. That was very easy to get out. I was expecting that to be a bit harder. So uh, I need to contact Scott Andrews, my local Welsh friend. Uh, obviously, oh, I've got Martin as well, actually. And it's Martin and, and Scott. Poor Martin, he always gets left out. Sorry, Martin. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, have a word with them now and find out where I can park in Cardiff tonight uh, nearby so uh, we don't have to do too much driving first thing tomorrow morning. That's going to be the plan anyway. But for now, we've got to go late and buzzard, get loaded for, well, I'm assuming there's five pallets. It just says reference five times pallets. So. If that's more than five pallets, then they got the wrong reference, haven't they? <laughs> right, let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're in Whiz Beach. Uh, it's been a slight change of plan. We are no longer going to Leighton Buzzard to load up for Audi in Cardiff for tomorrow morning because one of our colleagues uh, needs an early finish tomorrow. So we're doing his run instead, which means we're going to Whiz Beach. We're getting loaded with timber and we're taking it to Shrewsbury for tomorrow morning. Um, makes no difference to me what I get loaded with and where I go. Actually, if anything, this runs a little bit easier because I'm picking up from somewhere I know. I don't know where I'm delivering, but it'd be a, it'd be a builder's merchant. They're all the same, pretty much. And then I believe from Shrewsbury, I've got to go to Wrexham, get loaded. Um, probably from a place I'd been loaded from before in Wrexham. That's going to go to Mitchell Dean, which, which I definitely have been before. And I think I've got to get loaded out of Mitchell Dean as well afterwards. I thought I heard a siren, but it's just a car alarm. I was just checking for sirens for the police. <laughs> anyway, we want to turn right here. That's why we're in the right-hand side lane. Um, but yeah, no, if anything, the change of plans, I think, is actually a little bit easier because I've, I've now I've got to go to less places that I don't know, do you know what I mean? So, easier for me. Okay, let's make a right at this roundabout. Just watching this mini bus on my left. Where are you going? Lovely jubbly. First time I ever come here, the sat nav was trying to take me down there, uh, which is unsuitable for HGVs and a weight limit. But I don't think it is. I think you could actually go. I think you could actually go down there if you really wanted to. But obviously it's been implemented for a reason. There's that one there as well. No access to the port. That's exactly where we want to go. Again, if you've got the right angle, you probably could get in there. <laughs> that's a big domino store, isn't it? That's got to be, that's got to be one that you can dine in, surely. I don't... Is it? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a Domino's where you can dine in, but that's massive. Right, we're going to take a left coming up here. That's Prince's. Uh, I was talking to Trucker Jay, and he was talking about he comes to Whiz Beach uh, and load for Prince's, which is there. Uh, also, I need to give a shout-out to Martin, because uh, we were supposed to go to Cardiff, and Martin actually gave me a place to park uh, tonight. So, you know, big shout-out to Trucker Jenko. <laughs> But <laughs> once he gave me the place uh, where to park, it all got changed around, so I no longer need that place. So, but thank you anyway, Martin. Do appreciate it. Caution. 
cars are given away to me. Thank you very much. So I can get round. Lovely jubbly. Oh, he's flashed me through. That was very kind of him. I take yeah, that's Prince's there, look. So I take it that's where Jay gets loaded from. Prince's. But we want timber. We want timber. But from El Pro, not this one here, the, the, the other one. Now, the problem with getting loaded with timber, in my opinion, uh, is normally, well, not, not normally, but it can be quite often high up to the roof of the trailer, so it can be a pain to strap up. It can be a right pain to strap up. Uh, which is why I always rather do timber work on a flatbed. But we're in a curtain side today, so we're going to have to uh, put up with it and try our best to strap it up. Don't know what exactly we got. The good news is we're only doing one delivery as far as I'm aware, so it makes things a bit easier. I haven't got to worry about what's going where. But it could be any of this. It could be fence posts, anything. I don't know. I won't know until they load me. Look at that, straight in. Straight in. That's what we want to see. Doesn't look like there's many trucks in here. Oh yeah, I can see I can see trucks now. There is a small queue. A small queue of trucks. Anyway, we just wait here, uh, someone comes out to me and I give him a reference. Okay, we are now loaded. Uh, we've got like double stacked pieces of fence fence posts on, I guess you would call them. Um, they're uh, they're quite flimsy and they sort of wobble a little bit, which is why I've got two straps on each one, going all the way down. Uh, apart from the one on the very back, it's just because it's just a single stack, it's not a double stack. So we've got 26 in total, using I think 12 straps. We now need to go down here to get it all checked out to make sure we've got the right amount on. It's a bit of a catch-22, because if there isn't the right amount on, we've got to come back, unstrap it all, and they put the right amount on. on. But we've got to strap it up to move, or it's just going to fall off, especially with these wooden posts. So, yeah. So, yeah, we'll... Uh, looks a mess, really, doesn't it? But it is on. <laughs> we'll go and uh, get it all checked out, and then... Uh, from there. Ugh, right. Load has been checked. Let's, this could come off. That's cold. That's cold out there. Right, let's get the engine on. Right, load has been checked. I still don't actually know where I'm going yet, just got the paperwork. So this is the first that I've actually seen where I'm going. Okay, right, it looks like I'm going to quite a small place. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's quite a small place off a, not a main road, but a relatively busy road with housing either side. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to deliver late tonight. Uh, they close at 5.30. So, I'm going to make a phone call and just see what time they can take a delivery. I'm just going to go out onto the main road a sec. Just so I'm out of people's way. I could do it for half an hour break actually, so I might even stop for half an hour. Before you go off. It's all clear. Yeah, I'm just going to pull up here on the left and uh, do some recon. Trucks need to get in there, so I'll go a little bit further forward. <coughs> right, let me just work some stuff out, what time it's going to get there and all that. 
Brilliant. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I mean, we are here at 8, but the forklift driver doesn't come till half past. Half past 8. Okay, mate, no worries. All right, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. See you tomorrow, bye. Right, so, uh, first things first. I'm not going to get there tonight. A, because I'm going to get there sort of around 5 o'clock. <laughs> and B, I need to have a half an hour break if I am to get all the way there. Also, C, if I do get there, I'm going to run out of driving time. I'll have nowhere to go from there. So it's definitely not going to be delivered today. It's going to be delivered tomorrow morning. Half past eight is the earliest they can deliver. So what we've got to do now is find out where we're parking up for the night. And that is the question. Where are we parking up? Right, there's a place I've delivered to in Newport. It's slightly off the road I need to take. But I know it'll be safe to park. I'll just add that to the stop. It does take me slightly off. But not by much. But I need to stop for a break before then. So my question is, do I do I have a half an hour break and then carry on to this place? Or do I just stop somewhere for a half an hour break and then make it <laughs> a daily rest? That's that's the issue we have at the moment. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do with regards to where I'm stopping. I've got, I've, I've got somewhere aimed. It's sort of it's in Newport, sort of north of Telford. So I do need to come off the M54 and go a few miles up the road to Newport to park up there. But then I come straight back down into Telford, back on the 54 to get into Shrewsbury. Uh, that's, I think, I don't know. <laughs> We, uh, we're going to drive anyway for, for a bit. We, we're on one hour, 50 minutes of driving time, so we can do two hours and 40 minutes of driving. So I'm just going to drive for a couple of hours, two and a half hours, uh, and then we decide what we want to do. We can either park up for the night, wherever I've stopped, could be services, or we could have half an hour break, get some supplies like food and drink, and then carry on to where we want to stop. We just don't know. We're gonna wait and find out. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get crack lacking. I expect uh, it could be dark when you see me. I'm not entirely sure. We, we will see. But I'll see you in a bit nonetheless. Okay, we are on the M6. Um, we're just coming up to four hours driving time, so we can only do another half an hour driving. Um, we're obviously not gonna get to where I wanna park up by then. So we're going to pull into the services here and have a break. I don't think uh, I don't think I've ever been in these services. Trolley services, trolley services. I don't think I've been in this service. I'm not sure. I might be wrong, but I got a feeling I haven't been in this one before. But never mind. Anyway, I'm still not sure what I'm doing with regards to where I'm parking. Um, once I get here, I'm going to do some more calculations, see what driving time I actually have left after me um, after my break. So I'll reset my driving time. Then I know exactly how much driving time I got left. Where can I get to? Like, how far is it to get there from here? I might even stay here tonight. I don't know. It is quite early though. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but we don't have to be at the delivery point tomorrow until half past eight. So even if it's like a two-hour drive from here, which I suspect it is. We won't need to leave till like half six. So it's still like a very reasonable time. But I don't know, we'll see. I might stop here for an hour and then go on to the destination where I want to stop. Might just have a long break here. Might even stay here for two hours, who knows? I'll uh, we'll see how I feel. Uh, I might have a little snooze. All right, we parking now on the left. HTV is straight on. Park one is open. Yeah, so we can go further on down. I think. I have been in here. I think. <laughs> Hopefully we don't miss the, the whole parking. Petrol way out, cars only. Right, so we want to go this way. Ooh, what's that queue about? There's a big old queue there. HEVs and caravans only. Okay, we'll go this way. I reckon we can sneak round this side. What's everyone queuing for? 
I've got no idea what everyone's queuing for. Are they queuing for fuel? I think so. Anyway, we're gonna just drive straight forward. Someone need recovering? There's a crouch recovery truck there. I don't know what everyone's waiting for. I think it's, yeah, I think it's for fuel. I think everyone's queuing for fuel. That's gonna be a nightmare to get out. Can I get out that way? I don't think. Uh, everyone's queuing for fuel on the left. Anyway. <laughs> We're having a break. We were. Uh, gonna have a quick break. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just stay here for as little as possible and then crack on. We'll see how I feel. See you in a bit. Right, we're just coming off the M54 now. It was really dark, like really gloomy behind me. But in front, the sky's opening up. The sun has set, um, so it's not pitch black yet. <laughs> um, which is good, it means we should be able to park up, do some checks without the torch, end of day checks, and uh, see if anything's wrong with the truck. I don't think there's anything wrong. It doesn't feel like there's anything wrong anyway. Um, yeah, we're only two miles away from, uh, from our estimate parking space assuming we can actually park there we're yet to find out let's go and have a look right so i've tried to situate it stafford park i've tried to situate my parking whereby i'm sort of at the back end of the estate and hopefully out of people's way i.e not on like a main road like this have i been here i think i've been here I think I have, but I'm not 100% sure. No, we're not turning right yet. Next right. Right, let's get off this main road. Let's take a left down here. Oh, there's loads of trucks down here, look. Oh yeah, we just park here. Other trucks are parked here. We're a little bit further away from the motorway. No lines on the road. Can't see any signs saying I can't park here. I think this will do. Home for the night. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go do some end of day checks and um, and then pretty much go to sleep. Tomorrow we're gonna do the rest of the delivery. 42 minutes to destination tomorrow and we can't be there until half past eight. So um, quite a late start tomorrow. We won't be getting up to about half past seven. <laughs> so a nice late start. I'm still gonna go to bed early tonight because I am knackered. I am knackered. Um, we could do one hour 47. We did 101 in the end, so 46 minutes shy of a 10 hour drive, so we did nine hours, 14, I think, something like that. So over nine hours driving today, but it's all good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some daily checks. I go to sleep, because I'm tired. So uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Okay, so just parked up, going for a walk now. I know I said I'll see you in the morning, but I thought, I'll leave a quick message now so what it is I'm trying to lose weight uh, and to accomplish this I walk in at least two kilometers a day at least uh, the more the better so go for a little walk I'm out of breath because it's just a little bit of a jogging uh, just to get my heart rate up because I want to lose weight so I need to get my heart rate up so a little bit of jogging, get the heartbeat going, and then walk. Whew. But yeah, I've lost half a stone in like four days, five days, something like that. I want to lose some more. Hence we're walking. Okay, good morning everyone. How are you all doing? We're just coming off the A458. Yeah, I think it's the A458. Gonna take a left here onto this 
Country Road, the B4387. <laughs> Looks like it's a, uh, a two lane left turn. Beaver Bridges. Well, there's a sign saying Beaver Bridges and it's got a sign of a truck, a picture of a truck on it. So, they should be used to trucks coming down here. We've got to go down this sort of windy country road now for, for a couple of miles. We've got to go over a train track as well, I believe. Um, I'm hoping uh, we're not going to meet many trucks because it doesn't look massively big, but we will see. Anyway, let's get a little bit narrow. So I phoned the guys up yesterday, as you heard. Uh, they said half past eight was the earliest that they would uh, accept a delivery because that's when the forklift driver comes in. And... Um, our ETA is 8.29, so pretty much bang on half past eight. Um, so, should be good. We should be able to get there, undo the curtains, and uh, within a few minutes, the forklift driver hopefully will come out and start unfloating us. It does look quite a tight place, uh, as in they may offload me from one side, and then I have to move over and they offload me from the other side which I don't like doing with these fence posts on because of any movement and they could literally just fall over. So I'll have to be wary of that. If we can try and get both sides unloaded without me moving, then bonus. But it looks like I've got a sort of, as we, as we approach the, the place, it'll be on the left-hand side, it looks like we just sort of pull into the car park, if you can call it a car park, and literally just park outside their building and try and get it as central as possible. That looks like what we're going to do. We'll find out because we're only uh, like 800 yards away. <laughs> so we're nearly here now. Oh, which reminds me, um, I've been and designed some new t-shirts on the uh, Teespring page. So if you want to help me out, help create her out and buy some merchandise, some hoodies, some t-shirts that are unique, um, check out my Teespring page. There will be a link in the description down below. I'll also try and upload some, uh, well, I'll try and put some pictures on screen now of the type of designs I've created. Where are you going? Are you gonna let me through? Yeah. We've got a score down here by the looks of it. He was asking me to beat the horn to give him a little toot-toot. <laughs> right, turn around. And then it's just up here on the left. It does look like that I can get back out that way, which I might do. Left in here. Yeah, it looks like they just offload us here from both sides. Hopefully. Because I can't see them offloading me down there. So if I just try and get central, then I suspect they'll offload me from, uh, from here. I leave access for other vans to get in and out. Lovely. Should be enough room. There's more room on the left than there is the right. Might need to budge over a bit more, but we'll see. Let's go find someone and then get offloaded. See you in a bit. Right, okay, we're being tipped. As you can see, all the pallets over there. Uh, 26 in total, what he's doing is he's taking them off. A fair play, he's taking them off two in one go. And he's just uh, put them over there. So, my original thinking was that it was actually gonna take a while to be tipped here, but um, I think I'll be out of it in like 20 minutes, so that's pretty good. Happy days. Right, we're tipped. And I'm not gonna lie, that was rapid. <laughs> they tipped me very quick, which is awesome. It's Friday. 
Um, I, I highly suspect I'm going to be held up at the next job, but it's always nice when you get there a little bit earlier than expected. Right, let's make our way out of here. We're going to go left. Lovely jubbly. Say thank you to the car. Why have you got your hazards on? Anyway, right, we're tipped. I think she had her hazards on because she came to a standstill and was thinking cars are going to come around a bit fast, maybe. Uh, we're tipped, we're tipped, we're tipped. Yeah, so um, I got there and to be honest, I thought, oh, it's one of those places, and I did have to move over in the end to get the other side done. I was like, oh, it's one of those places where uh, there's obviously not a lot of room in the car park. They're going to take it off and they're probably going to take it down somewhere, down in, in their backyard or something. But no, fair play to them. They, they took it off and um, basically put it down next to the truck in the car park. So that was nice of them. So it meant that I got there at half past eight and uh, it took me 10 minutes to get the straps off and put them all away. So that was uh, 20 to nine. And it's five past nine now, so they literally tipped me in like 20 minutes, so... Yeah, can't ask for more, really. Good little day so far. And, uh, yeah, again, I'll mention again, please grab some merchandise of my store. There will be a link in the description. But also, for a while now, it's been underneath the video. If you look, if you come out of a uh, big screen, uh, so if you're on a phone, turn it up to portrait, or if you're on a computer, laptop, uh, just take it off a big screen and you'll see underneath the video uh, the merchandise there. If you just click one of them, it'll take you to the website and uh, you can have a look. But yeah, it would it would help me out. Uh, you'd support you'd be supporting me, but also you'd be wearing something unique as well that not many people would be wearing. I did for a while, for the longest time, just have hoodies with my logo on. But for ages, I wanted to I wanted to design my own logos. Um, so that's what I've done. I've, I've I've not my own logos, my own hoodies, my own t-shirts. So I've designed my own designs. Uh, every design is available in both a t-shirt and a hoodie, although I do suspect hoodies are most popular. It's what I sell most of. Um, and yeah, they're available in up to 3XL. So if you're a big boy, big boy like me, you can get them in 3XL. Um, they're available in a small, medium, large XL, double XL, triple XL, and also uh, a lot of colors. There's loads of colors. Um, so yeah, take a look. I would appreciate it. It would be helping me out. And uh, what I will say is, if you, they're basically, most of the hoodies are £29. I don't make £29. Like, most of that goes to Teespring. <laughs> I just make a couple of quid. But it helps me out nonetheless. So I would appreciate it. And uh, I'm open and honest about this sort of stuff. Right, anyway, let's crack on to Wrexham. ETA 36 miles, which is about an hour away. Should be there for about 5 past 10. Maybe 10 past 10. Depends on traffic. So, let's go. Let's get crack -a in. I'll see you in a little bit. Tell you what, delivering those bags on those pallets are a nightmare. I've done them before. <laughs> They're a nightmare to deliver. Right, so we want to park pretty much over here in the middle. Right in the middle. And it comes out of this door here on the left. So um, we'll just spin around here, face the other way. Lovely. I'll just go back a little bit so they haven't got to travel as far with the forklift. It means it gets loaded a bit quicker. Trucks can still get past me either side. If someone wants one of those trailers out, I'll have to move. But other than that, we'll, uh, we'll stay here. Right. <laughs> so, time is five past ten. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm still here at twelve o'clock, but hopefully... Hopefully that isn't going to be the case. Right, let's go find someone. <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh dear. Oh, please don't tell me that's a fire alarm. Okay, it stopped. That's good. Whew. Started to think that was a fire alarm then. Anyway, good news. Uh, we've done over a kilometre of walking obviously not the quickest because i've not just been walking continuously i've been stopping you know stopping to to do straps up and 
probably have to drive across the talk. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've done a kilometre, but hey, it's an extra kilometre added on to the day's walk in, whatever I do later on tonight when I get home on the treadmill. Because obviously, oh, you guys don't know. Bought a treadmill and it's, uh, well, it's, it's in my office. <laughs> Um, so Reebok, I think it's like 850 quid. It fits perfectly. I had to take the door off to get it in. But um, yeah, no, it's in there anyway. So got a treadmill at home now in the office so I can edit a video while it's rendering. It only takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes to render it out of push. So just jump on the uh, old treadmill and do some walking. So I really am trying to lose weight. So let me know if you notice a difference because obviously I'm not really gonna, I'm not really gonna notice anything too quick. But yeah, extra kilometer, nice. Right, we're loaded. We are loaded. We've just got to wait for the paperwork. He said that'd be five or ten minutes. That was about five minutes ago. So hopefully he'll be here soon with the paperwork. Let's just quickly clean the windows. The mirrors, sorry, not the windows. Um, so yeah, no, I just... Uh, 1.38 kilometers and nearly 1.4 kilometers i just did just walking around burnt 427 calories it's quite interesting that like just loading up normally as you do um but all i was doing is any chance i got rather than just waiting for the next pallet do a lap of the truck if it still don't come back do another lap, 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 lap ugh, another lap of the truck just went round and round and round and round and round until the pallet was on the deck and then I'd get the strap and I'd strap it up and then I'd walk around and around and around just keep going and keep going I'm interested to see what it looks like on the uh, on the app <laughs> so, so I was hoping that it would be uh, like quite clear like a clear rectangle of the truck uh, no it's not <laughs> that's far from being clear but um, yeah 1.38 um, obviously my average pace per kilometre would have been slow. It's 32 minutes because obviously it's not constant walking, like I said. Uh, at the moment, I'm averaging about 13 minutes a kilometre if I continuously walk. But there's a lot of stopping and starting and talking to the forklift driver and, you know, so on and so forth. Is that the forklift driver? I think it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you, later. Okay, see you later. Cheers, mate. Um, he's an incredibly friendly chap likes to talk <laughs> want to get going um right it's three hours yeah three hours and 20 minutes back it was like <laughs> i told the forklift driver because he goes why are you walking around the truck i was like um i just want to walk on the truck and lose trying to lose some weight basically he goes oh i could load one all one side at one time if you want it saves you walking around I was like no i want to walk around like every opportunity i get i want to walk around <laughs> and then he starts talking about the best burger bars around here I'm like mate i'm trying to lose weight and you talk about burgers <laughs> it's quite funny he's a funny chap he's uh, telling me a lot of jokes as well um yeah it's, it's, it's nice it's better than having a miserable forklift driver that's for sure right foot down uh i will see you when we get to mitchell dean at three o'clock should be light out still let's go on keep going i need to do a reversing maneuver Yeah, I think the guy feels bad that someone's cut in. There's a car coming around, he needs to see me. I'm spinning around. So uh, they're gonna get me in now, but in where I just come from. But it's uh, a one-way system, so I can't just drive in in front of me, look. I need to actually go around. There's, there's, not allowed to go in that way. So and I literally all I got to do is go there. <laughs> but they won't, they won't let me go in that way. So I've got to drive around again and literally just park there. But at least we can uh, 
at least we can get in. It's nice of him, I suppose, to get me in. I can get the curtains open, start unstrapping. Just gonna come down here and park down here. They said uh, they'd tip me here and then bring it on in. Hiya, you all right? Yeah, yeah. You bad? So we're, uh, we're just gonna plonk it here and then if that truck wants to get out, we can move. Right, let's go get the curtains open. That's all we'd like to see. He's taking it all off and he's putting it right next to the trailer pretty much, just so I can get off. Legend. Right, we are tipped. Lovely jubbly. Sat nav is quite bright. I'm sure that adjusted night time in a minute. Let me just take my hoodie off. Not my hoodie, my high vis. <sighs> lovely, 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 lovely. Right, we're good to go. Just watching out for the forklift. Right, yeah, so, uh, what time is it? Uh, 10 past four, so we've been here just over an hour. But, um, yeah, not too bad. By the time we get home, or well, back to the yard now, it's about an hour from here, so we're going to be back in the yard for about ten past five, which is good. Got to drop the trailer off in the front yard under some blocks. Uh, presumably it's being loaded over the weekend and someone else is taking this trailer next week. Um, and then we need to, well, after we've dropped it, we'll go around and get some ablo, so that's what I need to do. That is what I need to do. It will obviously be dark when we get back. It's pretty much getting dark now, alert, so. It will be night time when we're back in the yard. What are you doing? Are you actually going across? Or... <laughs> right, anyway, let's get a crack a lacking uh, and I'll see you when we're back in the yard. See you in a bit. Lacking, uh, and I'll see you when we're back in the yard. See you in a bit. Okay, so I do have a small confession to make. <laughs> I never actually recorded anything else after that. So uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's no more footage. <laughs> I've just edited the video now and I just realized. So uh, this is the end of the video. Um, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, like I said in, in the video, I've just been editing it. Please feel free to check out me, uh, my hoodies. Link is in the description down below. If you like, if you like one, go ahead and buy one. That would really help me out. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. There's my treadmill. <laughs> I'm going to go for a run now once I put this on and start rendering. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.